How's it going guys? Joshua Lefemi here, live from New York City. And I wanna show you a really cool automation tool that you can find right in Premiere. This tool is called the auto ducking tool. Let's say you have an edit that starts off with say intro music, and then that intro music needs to quiet down as soon as someone starts talking. Usually the solution would be to manually keyframe the volume of the music to duck down when the talking starts. Then you would ramp back up the music volume when the talking ends. Premiere Pro now enables you to automate this process with auto ducking. I'm in Premiere Pro now and I have three adjacent video clips on top of music. First clip is B-roll footage. The second clip is the footage of me talking and the third clip is more B-roll footage. Below everything is the music track. Make sure that you're in the effects workspace Go to the Window tab and make sure that Essential Sounds is checked. This should bring up the Essential Sounds tab on the right hand side. Now it's actually time to tell Premiere Pro which audio clips are the dialogue and which audio clip is the music. First click on the Talking Audio Clip and then go over to the Essential Sounds panel and click the Dialogue button. Then click on the Music Audio Clip and go over to the Essential Sounds panel and click on the Music button. You've now assigned all the clips to be either dialogue or music. Now move over to ducking and make sure that it is checked. You have the option of ducking against multiple audio types, whether it be dialogue, music, sound effects, ambience, and unassigned audio tracks. Today, I only wanna duck against the dialogue. So click on the ducking against dialogue button. Below you have three different editable parameters, sensitivity, reduce by, and fades. Sensitivity sets the actual threshold that triggers the audio ducking on the music clip. Generally, you want a high number to increase the threshold, so you can have one single clean volume duck when the dialogue starts, and another clean volume rise when it ends. A lower number runs the risk of lowering the threshold to the point where Premiere will be tempted to duck and raise the volume multiple times throughout the dialogue as it hears all the subtle volume shifts of the speaker. I would again suggest having a relatively high sensitivity number of eight. The duck amount is basically just telling Premiere how much you want the audio to duck when it hears the dialogue. Let's move it to like negative 15 for now. The fades is referring to how long or short you want the fade to be when the audio ducks and rises. Let's set the fade at say 1000 for now. Now it's time to click generate keyframes and let's see how it sounds. How's it going guys? I'm actually shooting my iPhone right now. We're, we got a whole bunch of really cool projects coming right at you. We're in beautiful New York City. Stay tuned. Pretty good. The auto ducking feature is available in the latest version of Premiere Pro. So please make sure to give it a try. Thanks so much for watching fam and please make sure to like this video and subscribe.